Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel again and in today's video we will be diving into how to set up the Elven CSS version 4.1 with React 19 using White. This setup is pleasing fast and perfect for modern web development in 2025. So let's get started. Alright guys, so now we'll be setting up our React project. So for that, we'll be opening Visual Studio Code. I've already created a folder in the desktop with name React. And inside of this, we'll be creating a project. So we'll be using this command that is basically npm create white at the rate latest. And we'll be giving the name like demo. And we'll be choosing React from here. And the variant JavaScript and our project is basically created. And now we'll be moving to CD demo like the folder that we have created and we'll be hitting command npm install to install all of the packages present in our application and this will take a while to install it okay now if we run npm run dev And here we have the URL and you can see that like our application is working absolutely fine. And now we'll be integrating adding Tailwind CSS version 4.1. So all you have to do is that just hit tailwind.css.com and here you will find all the options. So earlier this option was not available in the documentation. So they have added this new earlier. We have to do like a lot of configuration using this separate file that has been created with this setup that is tailwind.config file wherein we are configuring the plugins themes and all of it now we have like we don't have to do all of those we'll be doing all of in the index.css file so first let me just quickly uh install tailwind.css so you can use this command to install tailwind.css so let me just quickly dominate the terminal like here and uh, let me just quickly hit the command here and this will install Telvin CSS version 4 and now if I quickly go to the package here you can see that like Telvin CSS is basically version 4.1.7 installed and react that is 19.1.0 all right so now we'll be uh, moving towards the like the next step and here we have white.config file just go inside of it and here we'll have to do add two lines of code that is basically given in the documentation that is the first thing we'll have to import Tailwind CSS that we have to add it here and this Tailwind.css function inside of the plugins All right, so step two is completed. Now third step is we'll be importing Tailwind CSS into our index.css file. So just go to source and here we have index.css. So just clear like whatever is written in the index.css file and here we'll be importing Tailwind CSS and also clear like all of the styling like present in the app.css file and as well as in the app.js file. all right so now the next step is we'll be running our application but before that we'll be uh, adding this section which is saying that the text should be like 3xl the font should be bold and should have underline if this is working fine that means our tailwind cs is working absolutely fine and now if we run npm run dev And if we hit it, you can see that it is giving a bold underline and a bigger size of the text. That means our Tailwind CSS is working absolutely fine. So this is how we can basically configure Tailwind CSS in our React project guys. And in the next video, we'll be showing how we can configure dark mode that we have under core concepts under the dark mode here, how we can configure dark mode 
and like it's pretty easy i'll just quickly show you it's a basically just a minute thing like it just take one minute to configure it and all set so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful to you so do not forget like subscribe and i'll sort of you and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye